So in this video I'm going to be building a TT Combat Taco Van. This is going to be another one that I built for some scenery for future animations. This is just a laser cut MDF kit. Um, they're meant for 28mm to 32mm tabletop games as I can't see on there. It's pretty much just a sprue. I'm going to take it out of the cling film, clean up the parts because obviously they might need a bit of clean up work. Unfortunately, at the time of this video, the instructions online uh, aren't working, so I'm going to have a play around, figure out how it goes together. Um, you won't see that, but I'll jump cut to me building it once I figure out how it goes together, uh, and then we'll go from there. So I'll see you in the next bit. As you probably noticed in the build part of the video, this thing didn't go together quite well. Uh, a lot of the parts weren't cut properly, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. Although it is the first TT Combat kit that I've bought that's had problems with the parts not being cut properly. Um, so it needed a lot of work to sand in off and fill in gaps and such and that. Um, but currently I'm building this during the quarantine for the coronavirus. Now my original plan was to buy several of these taco van kits and build them up in several different variants and just make some custom stuff um, and during the quarantine I'm planning to do as much animation as I can get done so given the fact that this needs a lot of work and I currently can't get a hold of any more of these kits for the time being because TT Combat themselves and a lot of other people that sell them have closed shop because of the quarantine I decided just to turn this into a van um, so I took all the signing off and filled in the gaps and just used some green stuff to fill in the logos and sanded it. Same here, I've added this panel here, put it back in here and just filled it with some green stuff and just sanded it. Um, you can see the roof didn't really line up because I've had to glue this piece here in and then glue in these. But overall, yeah, it's going to look like a nice van. As you can also probably tell, there's a Spartan and a Call of Duty figure in there. We'll have a look in there in a minute. But I've added the hinges, some kind of door handle. This little uh, piece of styrene for a step. All the doors do open. Um, just because it's an industrial vehicle, I've put the hinges on the outside. As you'll notice with those old, old style, box style delivery vans, the doors just lift off. I've got a little bit of work to do on the inside of the back here. Um, again, the reason I wanted to make this into a generic van is because a few of my animations that I've got coming up require me to have like a generic van. And I just thought it would be kind of cool to use this. Um, kept the little um, air thing here, the, I can't recall now, air conditioned air or something in the back. 
Um, one of the reasons is because I kind of plan to use this as maybe a heist van, so I want to put some bench seats in the back. You know, maybe have a bunch of guys in the back here ready for a heist or something for an animation, that'd be kind of cool. As well as just a delivery van. Um, as you can see, I've painted this star already just to see like the green stuff's kind of smoothed out the logo so you don't see the logo. Um, this door also opens as well as the other side. I've yet to paint this bit on. Um, as you can see, I've just used some Lego seats. And um, this steering wheel's off a 124 scale car from, just from the, the um, bits box that I had lying around. But I'm probably going to have to find some kind of alternative because I think that was the last steering wheel I had in my bits box. I'm going to have to whip some up for any more of these that I get. Um, I do have one more truck from TT Combat um, that I will be building at some point soon. But um, yeah, with TT Combat being closed at the moment, these will be the last two that I do until they open the stores again. But yeah, as you can see the front, and uh, we can see it this side here. This door opens as well. We got the spot in there, not sitting properly, but. But yeah, sitting very comfortly. Um, put your room in there. Pop the roof off because I'm going to leave the roof so it doesn't work. I'll just hold those doors. So you can see there's plenty of room for a two spot Spartan and a Call of Duty figure. Um, probably two or two. Obviously they're just loosely lying on the back. Same. Got to do some more work on the back there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to paint it. Um, put some proper axles so these wheels actually rotate. They're just there for keeping the wheels on at the moment. Um, again, you can see here, uh, the original axles are way off counter, so there's no way I could put the wheels there, so, yeah, i <laughs> falling off now, um, but yeah, going to paint it up, do some more work on the back, and just do it up as a standard delivery van, so I'll see you in the next bit. So here we are with the van, um, initially I was going to paint this silver, but I ran out of silver paint halfway through, and because of the current lockdown it's just been impossible for me to get a hold of paint so I kind of just shelved this for a while and just focused on working on animations um, but I do need this one for an animation or two in the future so I thought I'd get back to work on it um, so I went with the whole painting it white instead of silver because again I ran out of silver um, tried buying some more online but it's just stupidly overpriced um, five quid a jug it's usually like two quid from my local hobby craft or model shop and it, online it's five pounds plus than you've got at postage, so it's just ridiculously overpriced at the moment. I am looking for some alternative paints to use at the moment, but for the time being, I just use what I had. So I've used the last of my Typhus Crossif to kind of give it this worn out look. So I did paint it white with the idea of just making it a generic white van, um, but you can kind of see the bad job I did when it comes to filling in the window here that I have filled in. Um, you can still see the lines, uh, that's partially because I need to add some more filling but I just didn't want to waste any more with the current lockdown and stuff so I've only got so much of that stuff left and so I didn't want to use it all on one model uh, when I could use it on other stuff. Um, another reason too is I was using this file and ideally I should have used sandpaper or sanding block to file this down smooth because this is an old file and every, time, every now and then you'd catch it on the corner and just drag a scratch mark across Cross it and then you'd have to try and file that down and then accidentally catch it another angle and so it was back and forth for a bit and it was a bit of a pain um but other than that i think it turned out pretty well it looks like a really worn out and beat beat up van um the idea is this is like a criminal van or an abandoned van depending on what i use it for in the animations but well scenery it'll be background it'll be an abandoned van or if it's been used by some characters it'll probably be a criminal van um, just because if you've watched the movies, you always seem to have the criminals driving around in the most run-down van. To be fair, if you're a professional criminal, you'd probably want something that stands out a lot less than something that's really worn out. Like, oh yeah, it was that van that was looked abandoned, but it was driving along and there was some suspicious characters looking in it. You know, the typical stuff they do in Hollywood, but yeah, it's kind of where I went. The decals are from the Green Stuff Workshop. Um, that's what the stuff I used to fill in the holes. With, uh, I blocked out the rear window, I did put a window in the back but then I just decided to block it out because obviously it's supposed to be a criminal van so obviously you wouldn't want to be able to see in the back for the cargo. Uh, I did put a set of bench seats in the back. The door wants to open. 
can't see much because of the light in here um, but I'll take the roof off now I didn't really bother cleaning up the entire inside because with the roof on you can't see into it that well and most of the time if I put someone in there there's some better shots at the end of uh, some people in the back of this thing but yeah if I put someone in the back and put the roof on you know you can just about see him and you wouldn't see the rest so it doesn't really matter so I'll just lock him in there for now so yeah overall I think it looks like a nice worn out beat up van I can't wait to get some animations done with this um, got a, another TT combat truck to build and I'll be doing that next um, stick around for the slideshow there's some nice little mocks with this thing um, and some other nice photos of it being used from potential, showing potential ideas for future animations that this thing will be in. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.